Real. Faithful. Multidimensional. A vessel. Funny. The Sasquatch. Church daddy. <laughs> um, I would describe myself in one word. Focused. <laughs> I'm Keith Giles. I'm almost 50 years old. I have a blog. I've been blogging for 10 years, and we have a house church that meets in our home that we started about 10 years ago. House church, house church, mm -hmm. house church, yeah. So I can describe what our house church is like. Our gathering is very, um, very open, probably the most non-structured. We don't have a regular building, we just meet in homes. We don't have a, uh, a senior pastor. I'm not the senior pastor. Uh, I don't operate that way. That's not the way I behave when we get together. We don't even have a statement of faith. So for a lot of Christians, right there, when I say all that, they're just like, what? Uh, that just seems really strange. So the way we start, when we decide, okay, we're all here, Let's get going. We really just have a period of, of waiting on the Lord. Just some silence, uh, and there's a lot of silence. I kind of always saw myself in some capacity being in some kind of leadership in church. However, many times I have wanted to step down and walk away. If things were going slow or things weren't going the right way, it was up to me to fix that. And probably like around the, uh, the fourth or fifth year, it just started to almost feel like this isn't my, this isn't my church. I really felt like God spoke to me as I was praying about that during that season, and he said, you're saying that this church doesn't feel like it's your church, and that's because it isn't. There have been disappointments, there have been ups and downs, but you know what, it hasn't gotten messed up, and it's actually getting, it is getting better, it's been amazing, because it's not about me, it's about Jesus. That's why I don't preach sermons. I feel like church should be different. I have just been personally, spiritually so blessed to learn, you know, to realize I still have a whole lot to learn. I don't have all the answers. I don't know everything. And that's been the most inspiring thing to me. One of the unusual things about me is that I collect uh, these action figures. <laughs> and uh, a lot of them are related to movies. Some are related to like comics and things like that. And when I was really young, I'm an only child, and so I didn't have brothers and sisters, which meant that I got a lot of crap for Christmas and my birthday. So I had all these action figures, and I would just sit around and play with them and, and you know, set them up and come up with stories. I think it's one of the reasons I'm a writer, because I would come up with stories for them and things like that. So yeah, it is something kind of has carried on. I love writing, and God teaches me something, and I go, wow, that's, that's amazing. I should write. Usually I'll blog about it. Um, I'm really grateful for the internet. Uh, God has really blessed me uh, in that area. I feel like I kind of have an internet ministry like uh, of its own. Uh, if all I did was the internet, I think there's a lot of fruit there. Hey there, five minute video time with Keith. Um, I wanted to address something, a little conversation I've been having online. Yeah, I, I really like movies. And so the, the movies that I like, I think the reason I like them is that they either deal with questions of like identity, like who am I really and how do I know what's real and those kinds of things. So that's why I like science fiction. I like films that kind of play with those questions a lot. So. Okay, so we are driving right now uh, with a bunch of people from our house church and we're going to, we call it Tent City. There's like um, right along the Santa Ana Riverbed. There are a lot of people that are homeless that are living in tents along the fence, uh, going all the way up. Uh, to Angel Stadium. We're gonna pass out socks and batteries. Those are things they specifically told us they wanted. So I'm hoping it just reminds the people at the Tent City though that God sees them, they're not forgotten. He knows them, he loves them, he cares about them and their needs. And we kinda just kinda get to be examples of that. Let's do it. Let's do it. this idea that we all need one another. If you're not in a position to listen to someone who normally wouldn't be considered qualified, then you personally are missing out on something. When I see Jesus in other people, 
I'm amazed. There's just something about being together with people. You have a common heart, you have a common vision, you have a common goal, and it just feels right, you know. And so that for me personally has been really great. Uh, recognizing that yes, I do have something to contribute, but I have also a whole lot to receive. Cool. Thank you.